Dr. Anna Scafani, uh, Sonia Dami. Uh, we're talking about Sikhs and Sikhs in the Bay Area. But um, before we get to more about the Bay Area, Sonia, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where were you born? Where did you grow up? What do you like to do? Uh, let, let me say today that uh, to begin with, I am a Sikh. And I understand this tradition. I live this tradition. Mm -hmm. I'm also deeply interested in the arts. And when I met Dr. Kapani many years ago, so the combination worked very well. And uh, I have been with the Sikh Foundation for, for many years now and had the opportunity to work on uh, very many fields related to the propagation of Sikh arts. Uh, I've had worked with uh, artists, with museums, uh, worked on publications for books for the Sikh Foundation, uh, as well as we do have an annual Sikh fine art calendar that we use to to promote uh, Sikh arts. The, the, the Sikh Foundation has been, a, uh, along with Dr. Pani, a, a major benefactor sure. uh, to the arts. And in fact, uh, you, you helped established or uh, uh, funded uh, uh, a Sikh collection within the Fine Arts Museums of San Francisco. The Asian right? Art Museum in San Francisco. The yes. Asian Art Museum. Yes. yes. And um, beyond that, uh, what compelled you to be interested in the arts? Oh my god, I've been interested in arts uh, from childhood days. Uh, uh, in particular, um, uh, I inherited a number of paintings in some books on the life of Guru Nanak that were actually produced about 150, 200 years ago by one of my ancestors. And they went from one generation to another, ended up with my grandmother, who eventually gave it to my father, and he gave it to me about 30 years ago, and I brought it here. And those 40 paintings on the life of Guru Nanak uh -huh. are now part of Asian Art Museum, in addition to another 60 pieces of art that I gave them. So there's a permanent uh, exhibit of Sikh hearts at Asian Art Museum. Yeah, well, It'll stay there forever. Yeah. Well, we thank you for that. Um, we, we have a few minutes left. Uh, where were you born? How did you get to the United States? Uh, how did you get interested in fiber optics? All these things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was born in Moga in India, in Punjab, and grew up in Dehradun, which is a uh, uh, went to American mission school. Yes. In fact, uh, did my uh, bachelor's degree there, and uh, one of my professors said, uh, light travels in straight lines. And as a young boy, I said to myself, no, it's not true. And I started working on methods of bending lights around corner. And it wasn't until I came to Imperial College in London that I was introduced to the concept of using glass fibers for transmitting images around corners. And that's what I've been working on for all these years. Uh, and uh, it's been a very rewarding and uh, an exciting experience. Well, and you've been um, known as the father of fiber optics, I believe, and um, uh, distinguished career as a regent of the University of California, many, many, many other honors. Um, what are you interested in right now? Oh, I'm interested in a number of different things, but the Sikh Foundation is one of the most important ones there. The artwork we do there, we have set up a number of chairs of Sikh studies. Uh, there are four chairs in California at University of California at Santa Barbara, at University of California at Riverside, and now at University of California at Santa Cruz, and then there's one at Cal State East Bay, and we're talking about one or two more chairs. These are permanent chairs of Sikh studies that'll stay there forever. So this is fascinating. And the work that Sonia was talking about, the arts that we do, uh, the calendars we make mm -hmm. every year, and we have a web page which describes all of these activities, and the world is welcome to look and at that. And we have uh, some images. I've been talking with you. Um, Mike, uh, Bruce may have thrown those images there, and there we are, the Sikh Foundation. Uh, and as we look at those, Sonia, wh wh where were you born, grew up, and how did you get to Bay Area? I was, I was born in, in India, and I grew up in India. And uh, I've been here in the U.S. for five years now. Wonderful. <laughs> Well, we, we, we've, just, we've just scratched uh, the surface of uh, being Sikh and Sikh in the Bay Area, but um, re remind us some more about uh, Sikhs in America in the Bay Area and the, some things about your faith. Well, I think one of the most important things in our faith is, uh, as I said earlier, uh, working hard, 
being entrepreneurial and giving for charities. Those are very important aspects of our, of, of our life. And most of us try to do that uh, and uh, find it uh, fascinating. Hmm. Do, uh, there, there, there's a holy book? There's a holy book, yes. It's written, written or it's, it's transcribed? Written, or? That's right. It's, it's, it's written by our ten gurus and a number of Hindu and Muslim saints. Hmm. That's all included in our holy book. And most of the Muslims that are included in there were basically Sufis. And gurus, hmm. our gurus... Mystics. Uh, yes, uh, mystics. Yeah, mystics. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very interesting people, yes. And as a matter of fact, you know, one of the things that we have done, there was a, uh, a mosque built in Punjab area. And after the partitions, most of the Muslims left for Pakistan. And that particular mosque was going in, in, in a very bad shape. So we have helped with, with the assistance of Sikh Foundation and UNESCO to upgrade it and get it to a point mm -hmm. where it can then be delivered back to the mm -hmm. Muslims. And I think uh, what, what you said, uh, equality, the importance of equality of women mm -hmm. um, and openness to all faiths. Yes. And so uh, no overt conversion, but everyone is welcome. Sure. And centered uh, in Amritsar with the Golden Temple uh, there. and. People are still taught Punjabi? Yes, yes. Uh, it's, I would say that uh, Sikhs and non-Sikhs, there are probably 100 million people that speak Punjabi language. Well, that's, I've never been able to. I'll, I'll need some help from you after we get off air. <laughs> I'm Hugh Burroughs, uh, Sonia Dami, Dr. Ines Kapani, a very special mosaic. Uh, but is, is there a Sikh greeting or a blessing that, that, that you would give? Sat Sat God, God is great. God is great. <laughs> God is great. Thank you. Uh, for Ron Swisher, I'm Hugh Burroughs Mosaic. We'll see you again next month. Okay.